क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the preparation of synthetic rubbers and now in this topic we are going to talk about biodegradable polymers and now let us understand what are the few examples related to the biodegradable polymers and how we can prepare that this is what i am going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started So friends, now let me talk about biodegradable polymers. So these are the polymers which can be degradable or which can be disintegrated by the microorganisms, and out of which basically this polymers or the other side products that are basically degraded by the microorganisms that would be not harming the environment. And this kind of polymers which do not harm after its degradation are basically known as biodegradable polymers. And out of which I am going to talk about the few examples. And later to that we have the first one that is PHBV. The name of this is polyhydroxybutyrate co hydroxy valerate and this is what i'm going to talk about so now let us understand that is how we can prepare phbv so in this case we have to consider that is 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and in that case as a starting material so that is the reason that i'm drawing the structure in this way that is it consists of oh ch3 over here and this one would be ch2 cooh so in this case this is the one of the starting material and talking about the other starting material so the other starting material it would be again i am using that is n moles of and this is the structure that i am going to talk about that is oh this is ch ch2 ch3 this one will be cooh so in this case after polymerization and obviously this is a kind of a condensation polymer because in this case basically water it will be removed as a byproduct and that is the reason that the product that is what we could get is nothing but i would ideally write the structure here that is it will be o this one will be ch ch3 this one will be ch2 among this that is c double bond o oh this h along with that of this oh it will be removed in the form of water so that's the reason that we could get c double bond o o and this of this is the rest of thing it will be as it is that is ch c2h5 well this one will be ch2 and among this obviously even this will get eliminated in the form of water so therefore the thing that is being left out is c double bond o o so this is the polymer that is what we have left out and uh, how that is how basically it has been synthesized and this is nothing but phbv and now let me talk about the next example so the next example that i'm going to talk about is dextrone and let me talk about the preparation of this so in this case basically we are using a starting material which is nothing but i would write it over here as oh c ch3 c o o h so if you talk about the name of this one so this is carbon number one this is carbon number two so therefore it is named as two hydroxy methane ethane propanoic acid and it is been reacted with the other material and that is known as i would write it over here that is h o c h2 C O O H that is glycolic acid. So in this case, basically the polymerization reaction would take place in such a manner. Again, it is a condensation reaction and or condensation polymer that is what we could form. And this is nothing but a copolymer that is what we could get. And after by eliminating that is the water molecule. So in this case, the thing that it would be eliminated here basically here it is the H and here it is OH even this will be eliminated and from here basically one of the H and this OH it would be eliminated so therefore the polymer that is what we could obtain over here we could write the structure as that is I have written it over here as O C H C H 3 here it will be C double bond O O and here it will be C H 2 C double bond O so therefore this is basically the repeating unit that is what we could get and this is nothing but the next one and now let me talk about the next one so the next is nylon 2 nylon 6 so in the previous one we have understood that is how we can prepare nylon 6 as well as nylon 6 and now in this topic we are going to talk about nylon 2 and nylon 6 so in this case let me talk about the preparation of this one so for that we have to use that is glycine as the monomer so in that case i am drawing the structure of glycine as h o c double bond o this is nothing but ch2 and this is nh2 and with that of this is glycine and i am to react it with alpha amino caproic acid and caproic acid means it consists of five carbon atoms uh, that is methylene group so in that case this is the one that i am going to talk about that is h o c double bond o 
CH2 5 and this is NH2 so therefore the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is I am using n moles of this monomer also so the polymerization reaction will take place in such a manner that is the byproduct that is what we could get it would be nothing but it will have an amide linkage and that is what I am going to talk about that is this OH along with that of one of the H over here it will be get eliminated in the form of water and that's the reason that uh, the product that is what we could get is nothing but it will be a amide linkage and this is what I am going to talk about that is C double bond O that will be left out here it will be CH2 among this one of the H and this OH it will get eliminated in the form of water so therefore the thing that is left is NH this will be C double bond O this is CH2 five times and this is NH so this is the linkage that has been formed and this is basically the repeating unit and this is nothing but it is known as nylon 2 nylon 6 that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you have got to know that how we can prepare this biodegradable polymers so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much